Hello everyone, today I will talk about types of acid treatments. Taking a look at this picture, we can see a horizontal well placed in the reservoir and my goal today is to illustrate and explain various types of acidizing treatments. In particular, I'll talk about acid washing, where our goal is wellbore cleaning. I'll discuss matrix acidizing, in which we're injecting acid in the reservoir and we do it at so-called matrix pressure, or simply at pressure below formation fraction pressure. Finally, fracture acidizing treatment is the type in which we inject acid at pressures above formation fraction pressure. The first type of acid treatment that I want to talk about can be called acid washing. In this case, we inject acid and keep this acid inside the tubulars. It is important to point out that we do not intend formation treatment. Our objective during acid washing is tubular and wellbore cleaning. Normally we are removing inorganic scale, rust and other debris that negatively impacts production and restricts the flow in the well. As you can see here, scale can build up to a degree when it literally chokes our production. That is why in some conditions we have to perform acid washing treatments. The second type is matrix acidizing. As I mentioned, in this case we inject acid through these perforations in the formation. Injection pressure is below fraction pressure and our goal is to improve permeability in the near wellbore region. The way we reach this goal would depend on the reservoir mineralogy. For example, in a sandstone reservoir, our goal is to remove the damaging material. It can be certain minerals or other solid particles and fines that are blocking pore throats and pore spaces between grains of sand. Acid is injected to flow through the pore network and dissolve these materials that plug the porous media. And in a carbonate formation, our goal is to bypass the damage zone. We do this by dissolving rock and creating these channels called wormholes. To form these branches and channels, we have to choose the right acid and injection rate. But ultimately, we want to extend these wormholes from perforations beyond the near wellbore zone. This would create a conductive pathway for our hydrocarbons to flow through. Finally, let's discuss acid fraction. In this treatment, acid is intentionally pumped at pressures above formation fraction pressure. Such treatments are primarily used in carbonates. In this case, we bypass the formation damage and stimulate the undamaged formation at the same time. This technique is an alternative to both matrix acidizing and hydraulic fraction. In a way, our objective is similar to these traditional techniques because we want to maximize the stimulated reservoir volume. Therefore, we create these long, open, conductive channels from the wellbore, extending deeper in the formation. However, there is a big difference in comparison to traditional hydraulic fracturing, and this difference is about the way we create and maintain fracture conductivity. First, we pump acid or some viscous fluid to raise the pressure and open the fracture. But remember that if we stop the injection, pressure will drop down and the fracture will close. Therefore, before releasing the pressure, we prop the fracture with sand or similar material called propant to keep the fracture open and maintain its conductivity. Oftentimes, there would be some fracture wings that we can't effectively pack with propant. And once pressure is released, the fracture will close. If propant was placed in the fracture, then conductivity will be maintained to be high. And if there is no propant, then we might lose that conductivity pathway uh, because the fracture will be completely shut. But in acid fracturing, once acid travels down the fracture, it dissolves the walls of the fracture. If this dissolution is non-uniform, then the fracture may close with conductivity still being retained even if there is no propant in it. This is due to the fact that there would be high and low spots, or in other words, points of support and voids, and they, they will hold the channel open and flowable. 
So this is the main idea behind acid fraction. Thank you for watching. Please share with your colleagues and let me know what you think in the comment section. Have a great day.